from the book of Judges, a book in the Bible. <coughs> After him, Judges chapter 3 verse 31. <coughs> After him was Shemgar, the son of Anath, who killed 600 men of the Philistine. One man. He killed 600 of the Palestinians. One man. With an ox gold. Ox gold. And he also delivered Israel. Now, this gold. Gold. I don't know how many of you know what is a gold. You see, the first time I read about this as a young man, I read it in the book of Acts. Acts, A-C-T-S, Acts. Chapter 9, verses 4 and 5. Where it says that Paul, while he was on his way to Damascus, he saw a vision of Jesus. Jesus appears to him and he says, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? Why are you harassing me? What are you persecuting me for? Why kickest thyself against the pricks? And I was shocked. So what kind of a book is this? using such filthy, dirty language. So I went out on my search as a youngster asking the priest, what is this? And the priests were helpless. They were helpless. They can't explain to me what is Jesus talking about kicking against the... I won't repeat it. Now, in the Bible that Brother Sharosh, he presented to me at the Royal Albert Hall, this beautiful Bible here, this is the fifth major revision. This Bible is the fifth major revision. Brother Shorosh Nazi said it's true. Fifth major revision. I didn't know. You see, I thought the King James Version, or in England they call it the Authorized Version, was the one of 1611. That it has been already through five major revisions. And they still call it King James. That's an anomaly. You see, in the time of King James, 1611, this Bible was brought together. Then they found there's something not altogether right, so they made a major change. Major. You understand English? Major, minor. Minor is small, major is big. It's not fiddly little things. Major. You see, this is like your great, great, great grandfather. He made his last will and testament. And your great, great grandfather, he made a major change in that will. And your great grandfather made another major change in that will. And your grandfather made another major change in that will. And your father made another major change in that will. And you made another major change in that will. And you're still insisting that this is the original last will and testament of your great, great, great grandfather. <laughs> Amazing use of language. Imagine the language that they're using. Five major changes, revisions, and they still say it is the King James Version. So in this major revision, they change the word, the word, uh, that offensive word, to goad, goad. Go and ask the Americans, what is a goad? When you go out, when you meet the Englishman, ask him, what is a goad? And believe me, he won't be able to explain to you. What is a goad? So, I... Yes, I show you this, 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 this. Sit down, sit down, sir. Thank you, thank you, my, thank you very much, my dear brothers and sisters. You see, to make it easy for my brothers and sisters who never heard the word original word, they never heard the word gold. That this guy Shemgar, he used an ox gold. So I brought it for you. <laughs> You see, this another word for this is a cattle prodder. They brought cattle to move. 
ox goat cattle prodder spiked stick there's a little nail here spiked stick for prodding you know with this stick this jewish lad shamgar he killed 600 palestinians with this <laughs> you know you can you can't destroy 600 snowmen with this you know that this thing will break 600 600 it's a miracle yes this is the miracle it's a miracle we must accept that you see this is now is programming people if one jewish boy can six, kill 600 palestinians what were the palestinians doing <laughs> look i said the fools they couldn't run they couldn't run for their life what were they waiting where and where did the fellow strike them with this to kill 600 1 2 3 4 We have it. You see, since Islam allows, Islam allows you to marry four. He didn't quote the verse correctly. He was saying Surah Nisa, verse three, or something to the effect. The Quran says, marry women of your choice by twos and threes and fours, but if you cannot do justice between them, marry only one. the only religious book i'm saying the only religious book on the face of the earth which has this expression marry only one is the quran there is no other book on earth and this is the solution to your problem he has settled down in america he has married a beautiful young lady an american woman congratulations but now Wait, wait, wait. The the American statistics they tell us there are 7.8 million more women than men in America. That's almost 8 million more women in your country, sir, the land of your domicile. 8 million women who can't get husbands. If every woman, if every man in America got married, there'll still be 8 million women who can't get husbands. I am asking in this book of God that you are boasting about, what is the solution to your problem? Muslims are made to believe on the authority of this holy book the Quran that Jesus Christ was one of the mightiest messengers of God we are made to believe that he was born miraculously we are made to believe that he was the Christ the Messiah the Messiah we are made to believe that he gave life to the dead by God's permission and he healed those born blind and the lepers by God's permission and the christian bible testifies to this that our nabi akram sallallahu alaihi wasallam is a true messenger of god the test it gives in the first epistle of john chapter 4 it says it says beloved believe not every spirit but try the spirits whether they are of god for many false prophets have gone out into the world it continues the spirit that confesseth that jesus is the christ is of god a true spirit is a true prophet and a false spirit is a false prophet the prophet that says that jesus is the christ is of god says his holy book this is the test now why don't you apply it the holy prophet muhammad is made to say wa is qalat al malaikatu ya maryamu behold the angel said o mary Inna Allah yubashiruki bi kalimatin minhu says Allah gives you glad tidings of a word from him ismuhul masih his name will be the messiah translated christ that jesus is the christ if this is the test here is the test why aren't you reasonable why don't you look up your own book and your book gives you the test apply to muhammad and the book also says said by the fruits you shall know them do men get a fix from the thistle or grapes from the thorn is that every good tree will be good fruit and every evil tree will be evil fruit by the fruits ye shall know them and 
you count them on a man-to-man -man basis the Muslim and the Christian the Muslim and the Hindu the Muslim and anybody else in brotherhood in piety in charity in sobriety there is not another community that can show a candle to us that we are better than you we have our shortcomings we have our black sheep we have like any other community we have the good and the bad we have our drunkards that might put many a christian under the table we have but as a people as a whole the biggest society of teetotalers in the world are the muslims biggest society of teetotalers people who don't imbibe alcohol are the muslims we have in my country i'm boasting and nobody has contradicted me yet that the muslims of south africa we have the lowest alcoholic consumption we have the lowest gambling rate we have the lowest suicide rate we have the lowest prison rate we have the lowest divorce rate and we have the highest charity rate in the country <laughs> jesus said by the fruits ye shall know them he says judge them by the fruits not by individuals this ruler had done certain thing wrong and that guy had done certain thing wrong i said why don't you look at your own man you know hitler who was he christian mussolini who was he christian talk about them said, look. <laughs>